Did you know drawing has a special constructive place in our lives and it can enhance our sense of self? Hey everyone, this is Michelle. Drawing can also calm our nerves and it's just a natural innate urge in all of us. Drawing with a pencil is one of the simplest, most accessible ways to create that has been around for centuries. And it's drawing that usually lies at the heart of things. So I say, let's do more drawing. I've got some ideas on how to make that happen. And one of those is really making it more of your daily life. When you have art and art supplies uh, more visible and accessible, it always makes it more doable. So set yourself up with maybe a small shelf. Behind me here, I've got some shelves this, and they're always filled with books about drawing or sketching, different ways to do lettering, so that we always have access for some reference, for some inspiration, to learn some new techniques. There's always a sketchbook or some piles of uh, scrap paper that are also available, and then some pencils on display as well. It makes it really easy for you to grab that pencil and paper and make some marks. Another way is for you to get uh, a roll of paper. You know, when you go to a restaurant, they give you a handful of crayons and the tablecloth is paper. You can do the same thing at home. Roll this out over your kitchen table, your countertop, your coffee table. Leave it out. Have a nice display of some pencils and erasers and sharpeners and uh, it will encourage everybody to make those marks. It's a great way to learn together. You can learn the history of pencils, learn about the different types of leads that are out there, different types of paper, and uh, don't let good, bad, right, or wrong steer you because nothing kills a creative spirit like judgment. Instead, celebrate uh, the marks that you make, the drawing that you do, put some on display, and remember that everybody can draw and everybody can benefit.